our mission is to uh, pre provide a creative and dynamic space for artists and people from the community to come together. Um, and that is still our mission. Um, and as we, we grow, we become more about our community. Um, we're a community arts center, so we are focused on the arts, but also on people that live in this neighborhood. Uh, this is the East Bayside neighborhood, um, and it's a very diverse community, a lot of new citizens, uh, a very diverse refugee population, um, and tons and tons of kids. There are also a lot of artists um, and little new startup businesses in East Bayside, uh, so it's an interesting place to be. There's a, a diverse group of people that come here and use the space, um, whether they're artists or performers or audience members. Well, we have our performing arts programs, um, performing arts and culture series, so that's anything that's happening on the stage, and it could be music, it could be dance, theater. Um, like today, we're doing a Hansel and Gretel puppet opera, so um, we do a lot of puppetry in that series. Um, and then we do um, what's called artist space, and so we're also a gallery, it's a nonprofit gallery, and we rent um, affordable artist studios downstairs. We have five artists working in the building. Um, and then our third program is the Children's Puppet Workshop, which is an after-school program for kids in the neighborhood. And they come here and do, um, they make puppets and do performances, and they also do hip-hop dance and writing and um, music and all kinds of things. <laughs> So Hansel and Gretel, the puppet opera, is by Paper Bowl Puppets, which is a puppet, uh, pretty new puppet troupe, and they're based in South Portland. Um, and most, uh, some of them are USM students, and um, so they're a group of puppeteers and musicians who put the show together. It's an actual opera, so they have professional singers that will be singing hum uh, Engelbert Humperdinck's score, and they are manipulating the puppets, which are Bung Raku-style puppets. Brian Arlett is Blainer's husband and co-founder of the Mayo Street Art Center. We have a small staff of people here, you know, and we have a lot of people interested in doing things here, all kinds of, you know, plays or music, you know, all kinds of things. And so it is very challenging just to keep up with um, who wants what, when, and being able to be here to make it happen. With uh, Blainer and I having two kids, and uh, I go full-time school, uh, and so it's just, it's really hectic. It's really challenging, but it's, you know, we love what we do here, so, you know, it's worth it. Of course, like any other organization, you know, funding is, you know, up there. You know, any help we can get to, uh, you know, Donations, we send out our annual mail mailing, you know, to get some donations, and we really appreciate any financial support people can give us, because it just gets all back into this place, and to provide for, you know, great events for kids in the neighborhood, and for anybody in, you know, in the greater Portland area or beyond to come here and do things here. Intern Lauren Siegel talked about her experiences at Mayo Street Arts. Um, I've learned a lot. I love it here. There's so many different shows and such a diver diverse population. Um, one of the events we had a couple weeks ago was um, a guy from the South Sudan and he wrote a book and it was a fundraiser for him and it was really interesting. There was a bunch of different dances and music and all that stuff. It was, it was really fun. Mayo Street Art Center really brings the community together. They're, it's, it's so diverse, I can't say that enough. Like, um, there are so many different people that you wouldn't think would come together and interact. You know, like you wouldn't think they'd be friends, but they are, and everyone loves it here, and everyone's so friendly. An upcoming premiere shows how the Art Center reaches out to the greater Portland community. One project we have coming up in April is um, a puppet, Alice in Wonderland. And the, um, the kids that come to our after-school programs for the Children's Puppet Workshop will be making um, puppets for this performance, and it's going to premiere at the Portland Performing Arts Festival in April um, at the Masonic Temple. So there are kids in it that have made, will have made hand puppets for Alice in Wonderland, 
and then uh, Mecca students have made are making right now marionettes for the performance. So there'll be uh, 13 Sicilian marionettes, which are about this high. And then there's music. There's a marimba ensemble and musical saws in the piece. So um, and it's with shoestring theater as well. So that's a big project that we're working on now. Um, and it's a real community effort, and we're excited to be able to go premiere that in April.